Hi there. In this video, I'm explaining what is ARC. You may have tried out puzzles such as crosswords, chess, Sudoku, Rubik's Cubes, or an IQ test. ARC is a collection of 800 simple puzzles that are easy for a human to solve, but hard for an AI to solve. A puzzle is called a task. The goal is to make an AI that can solve tasks it has never seen before. The way it works. Step 1. You submit a program. It can be Python, C++, Rust. It can use the GPU. Step 2. Your program tries to solve 100 tasks it has never seen before. Step 3. Afterwards, you get back a score of how many tasks were solved correctly. Step 4. You make changes to a code and this procedure repeats. Why is ARC so hard? Your program has to solve the task fully autonomously. Your program runs on a computer that is not connected to the internet, so there's no way to debug. ARC has 100 tasks that are secret and hidden from the public. What is an image? There's no processing of RGB color components. There's no processing of huge images. The image sizes are between 1 times 1 pixels and 30 times 30 pixels. So tiny images. The color values are between 0 and 9. So a very tiny palette. What is a pair? An input image and an output image. Pair type drain. There are between two and seven training pairs. Most of the tasks have three training pairs. The output image is the expected output. Pair type test. There are between one and four test pairs. Most of the tasks have one test pair. The output image is missing from the hidden arc task. It's up to the program to predict the output. Here are some of my learnings. Learning. Deterministic. My code was non-deterministic. I used today's date as the initial random seed. Sometimes it would solve a task just fine, and other times it could not solve the same task. The score dropped from 3 down to 2 and stayed there for some iterations. It's frustrating when the score drops. Have I broken something in the existing code? Has the new code made the prediction worse? Make your code deterministic so it behaves the same way when running the program next time. It's easier to reason about what is going on. Learning. Time limit is 24 hours. Setting a too high time limit and it takes ages to get feedback. To begin with, my program ran for 23 hours. It took some days before I got feedback with my score. There's no reviewing in the weekend, so don't submit on a Friday. It's most likely you will get feedback on Monday. Use a shorter time limit, maximum one hour. This way there's a chance of getting feedback the same day as it was submitted. It's nice to get feedback on the same day. Learning. Docker image must be Linux AMD64. My computer is a Mac with M1 chip. The Docker image was for the ARM platform, the same as my computer. However, the machine it's going to run on has a different architecture. In order to compile for AMD64 architecture, I had to use Docker Build X. I recommend you, when starting your program, print out some info so it's possible to verify it has a correct platform. It's supposed to be x86-64 Linux. What my Docker image was printing was ARM. Use Docker Build X. Relevant links are in the description. Join the Discord server where ARC is discussed. Thank you for watching. Bye.